Hello, hello, hello. I'm glad you joined back in after all the Easter specials. Uh, today we're gonna have um, another beautiful video. And in this video, I want to, um, yep, yeah, put your attention on a devotion that is a really interesting devotion. And I have a um, tablet, so I need to look it up here. And I will tell you more about the devotion in a minute. Let me check on it. Um, there. Yeah. And um, the, it is called the Saint Bridges Prayers. And it's a really interesting devotion because it's pretty easy, but it has a long endurance. So this devotion is Seven Prayers of St. Bridget, it's called St. Bridget of Sweden. She was living around uh, 1300, um, the great saint of uh, Sweden. Seven Our Fathers, this divine savior revealed the following promise to St. Bridget. Know that I will grant great graces to those who pray seven our fathers and hail marys in honor of my precious blood every day for 12 years 12 years remember 12 years of school until you graduated this is 12 years but it's a long time but it's easy 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 to do this is why i'm sharing it with you because it's really worth it let me read to you what was promised to St. Bridget of Sweden for all who pray this prayer. The soul who prays them will suffer no purgatory, no cleansing. You will go right into heaven. The soul who prays them will be accepted among the martyrs as though he had spilled his blood for his faith. You count as a martyr. Wow. The soul who prays them can choose Three others whom Jesus will then keep in a state of grace sufficient to become holy. No one in the four successive generations of the soul who prays them will be lost. That's a great promise. The soul who prays them will be made conscious of this death one month in advance. Basically, you get a head start. You will die in one month so you can get everything in order. The soul praying these prayers dies before the entire 12 years of prayer have been completed. The Lord will accept them as having been prayed in their entirety because the intention of the soul was to complete them as directed. If a day or a few days are missed due to the valid reason, they can be made up for later at the soul's earliest opportunity. So you can do redo the prayers that you have missed. With a novena that we have prayed, you have to start over again. Um, this time, you just can make up for them. Uh, yeah. Uh, the most important thing about this is to pray um, seven Our Fathers and seven Hail Marys. But there's additional prayers because you're supposed to meditate on the sufferings of Christ, the seven wounds of Christ during his life. So um, there's certain prayers that is optional that you can pray on top of these things to be able to meditate better. So what I do in my life is I am doing the longer version of prayer as much as I have more time. If I'm pressed really bad on time, there's just certain days that are like that, that I'm just praying seven Our Fathers and seven Hail Marys. So, so easy to do. So um, let's pray the long version here though. Um, so you can actually listen every day to it and pray with me every day if you like. Before the beginning, O oh Jesus, now I wish to pray the Lord's Prayer seven times in unity with the love, 
with which you sanctify this prayer in your heart, take it from my lips into your divine heart, improve and complete it with much that it brings as much honor and joy to the Trinity as you granted it on earth with this prayer. May these pour upon your holy humanity in glorification to your painful wounds and the precious blood that you spilled for them. First, we always pray the Our Father and Hail Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. First, the circumcision. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the first bones, the first pains, and the first bloodshed as atonement for my and all humanity's sins of youth, as protection against first mortal sins, especially among my relatives. Amen. Second prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Suffering on the Mount Olives Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the terrifying suffering of Jesus' heart on the Mount of Olives and every drop of his bloody sweat as atonement for my and all of humanity's sin of the heart as protection against such sins and for the spreading of divine brotherly love. Amen. The third one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The third prayer, the flogging. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the many thousands of wounds, the gruesome pains, and the precious blood of the flogging as atonement for my and all of humanity's sins of the flesh, as protection against such sins, and the preservation of innocence, especially among my relatives. Amen. The fourth one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fourth prayer, the crowning of thorns. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the wounds, the pains, and the precious blood of Jesus, holy head of the crowning with thorns, as atonement for my and all of humanity's sins of the Spirit, as protection against such sins and the spreading of Christ's kingdom here on earth. Amen. Fifth prayer, the carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you the suffering on the way of the cross, especially his holy wound on his shoulder and his precious blood as atonement for my and all humanity's rebellion against the cross, every grumble against your holy arrangements and all other sins of the tongue as protection against such sins and for true love of the cross. Amen. Sixth prayer, the crucifixion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The sixth prayer of the crucifixion. Eternal Father, through Mary's unblemished hands and the divine heart of Jesus, I offer you your son on the cross, his nailing and rising, his wounds on the hands and feet and the three streams of his precious blood that poured forth from these for us, his extreme tortures of the body and soul, his precious death and its non-bleeding renewal in all holy messes on earth as atonement for all wounds against vows and regulations within the orders, as reparation for my and all of the world's sins and for the sick and the dying, for all holy priests and laymen, for the Holy Father's intention towards the restoration of Christian families, for the strengthening of faith, faith for our country and unity among all nations in Christ and his church, as well as the diaspora. Amen. Seventh prayer, the piercing of Jesus' side. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The piercing of Jesus' side. Eternal Father, accept us worthy for the needs of the Holy Church and as atonement for the sins of all mankind, the precious blood and water which poured forth from the wounds of Jesus' divine heart. Be gracious and merciful towards us. Blood of Christ, last precious content of his holy heart, Wash me of all my and other guilt of sin. Water from the side of Christ, wash me clean of all punishment for sin and extinguish the flames of purgatory for me and for all the poor souls. Amen. So now you have it, the entire meditation. But remember, on the daily basis, if you don't have time for this video or for the extended meditations, just keep praying the seven Our Fathers and seven Hail Marys. And I hope you will put down the date when you started and you are going to go through with it. See, um, if it would be easy, everybody would be doing it. God bless you and I see you soon again.